The next thing I want to do is I want to set up a route or a path operation that allows you to fetch and retrieve information about a user based off of their ID. And there's a couple of different reasons why I want to do this. Uh, one of them is uh, it can be part of the authentication process. So depending on how you set up the front end, uh, if you decide to, you know, set up JWT tokens to get sent as cookies, uh, then the front end may not actually know whether it's logged in or not. And so a lot of times you'll see some APIs have an endpoint to let you kind of retrieve information about your own account. Uh, and so if you're able to access it, that means you're logged in. If you're not, then um, you know that you need to fetch a new token. Uh, also, there's other reasons why you want to do this too. Uh, you know, if you're you know, thinking, taking a look at something like Twitter, right, you need to retrieve a user's profile if you want to view it. And so uh, in your API, you're going to have to set up a route so that people can retrieve someone's profile information. Uh, and so that's why I want to set up this route. I haven't really decided what we're going to ultimately do with it, but for now, I just want to set it up so that you can retrieve uh, information about a specific user based off of their ID. So let's go to the bottom of our code here and we'll create a new path operation. And I'll call this a uh, get user. And before we do that, I'm also going to set up the decorator. So this is going to be a get operation because we're going to retrieve the information about a specific user. And the specific path is going to be slash users and then slash ID. So kind of like how we did when it comes to retrieving a specific post, we're going to pass in the ID in the URL. And then we have to extract the ID. And I'm going to make sure that we uh, validate it as an integer. And the next thing that we have to do is since we're going to be interacting with the database, we need our DB right here. So we'll copy that. And then in our uh, actual function, we're going to do a quick query. So we'll do db.query. And then we'll grab models.user. And I'll say I want to filter uh, and then look for something with models.user.id equals equals. And then it's going to match up with the ID that they requested. And because there should only be one user with a specific ID, we're going to just grab the first one so we don't spend extra resources looking through the rest of our database. And we're going to store this in a variable called user. All right. And then uh, just like we did for uh, fetching a specific uh, post, if a user was not found, so if not user, we'll say we want to raise an HTTP exception. And we'll say the status code equals 404, whoops, HTTP status dot, and then we'll grab 404. And the detail is going to be user with ID, and we'll pass in the ID, does not exist. Um, but if the user is properly found, we will return the user. And it looks like there's some kind of weird issue with my formatting. So, all right, there we go. And so let's just quickly test this out. So once again, I'm going to create a new request and we're going to make sure to save this one. And I'm going to call this uh, get user. Copy this URL. It's going to be the same, same route. It's just going to be a get operation. And then we want to send a specific ID. So uh, take a look at your database and then see if you can grab uh, an ID that does exist. So we'll just say one, we'll hit send. And it looks like there's some kind of issue because I'm not getting a response yet. So let me cancel out of that and let's see what we did wrong. And I realized I forgot to do app.get. Great, so we actually got the user, everything seems to be working. However, there's one little issue. Uh, first of all, we should not be getting the password, right? We never want to return the password to the user. The user already knows his password. And uh, also, if you want to, if this route is so that you can retrieve a user's profile, uh, kind of like you can on Twitter or Instagram, then we're sharing someone else's password. And that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, and the reason why this isn't a hashed password was because I didn't clear out my database. Uh, before we implemented the uh, the hashing uh, of the password. So that's why it's in clear text. But whether it's hashed or not, 
you never want to send this out, right? You don't want anyone else to see your password. You don't even want the user to see their own password because someone else could intercept it and potentially do malicious activity with that information. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter out that specific field, just the password field. I want them to be able to get the ID, the created app field, and the email, and any other fields outside of the password. And fortunately for us, if we go to our schemas, uh, we've actually already defined a, a schema for the user out. So this is going to be uh, any information about the specific user, except we're extracting out the specific password. Uh, and so we can just set the response model to be user out. And we'll go back to main.py and we'll say response.model. Sorry, response underscore model equals schemas dot user out. All right, we'll save this and we'll try this again. So we'll retrieve this user and we still got the password. So what happened here? And this could just be an issue of me not saving. So let's try this again. Uh, still a little bit of an issue. And let's just make sure I imported schemas. I did. And let's go to our schemas. And I've set just these fields. So this should be good to go. I'm not sure why it's giving us errors. And uh, I made a stupid mistake. This should not be uh, within the function parameters. This should actually go inside the decorator. So it wasn't actually doing anything. And now if we try this, we can see that the password field has been successfully removed.